Do you suffer from overwhelming anxiety? If so, stick around for this episode because this is the topic that Chris covers most with his hypnosis clients. So many people feel debilitated by their mindset. And in this episode, we're going to share five practical ways that you can beat anxiety. Hey, we're Britt and Chris Carmichael, and you're listening to the Elevated Life Podcast. Throughout the 13 years we've been together, we've never ceased in our endless quest to better ourselves. We've studied top experts, philosophers, and gurus. After years of personal self-experimentation, we found the tools for shifting your beliefs, moving through fears, and developing a positive mindset. If you're ready for a breakthrough, then you're in the right place because we're here to empower you to take control of your life with simple mindset shifts that create radical transformation. We'll be diving into topics like personal growth, health, philosophy, spirituality, relationships, success, and mindfulness. So create some space for yourself and get comfy. It's time to become the badass you were born to be. Ready to ditch the anxiety. I know so many people struggle with stress and anxiety, and we're going to share five practical ways that you can overcome anxiety here on The Elevated Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Britt, and this is Chris Carmichael, and together we've created The Elevated Life series, where we teach you these simple mindset shifts that create radical transformation in your life. Let me hear from you. Are you someone who deals with anxiety? Does that show up in your life on a daily basis or on a weekly basis? Let me know where you're watching from, who's here. Is this your first time? We're so excited to be here with you live. Yes. You know, anxiety can be such a killer. Um, it, it, it takes everyone's power away because it puts you in such a weird thought loop. You end up having these feelings and the anxiety comes up. You start to do weird things. You start to picture the wrong things in your mind. You start to hear yourself say the wrong things, you know, things that are negative attributes that affect how you feel about your self-confidence. And you start to realize, holy smokes, I'm living in this all the time. And so if that's you, these five, really they're going to be check-ins. It's five check-ins where you can ask yourself, am I nailing these five things? Because if you're not, a lot of your anxiety can stem exactly from them. So we've got, yes, Texas from Fort Worth. Hey, girlfriend. Um, Hey, oh my gosh, it's so good to see all of you. Um, It shows up when... I feel overwhelmed. Yeah. Um, we've got someone watching from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Amazing. Florida here and anxiety for sure over here. Okay. So obviously anxiety is not an uncommon topic to all of us. So we thought these five tips would help you to, like Chris said, check in and see, am I doing the proper things that are phys- that we know on a scientific and spiritual level that are good for us, that help us to be at a more peaceful and present state? How many of you want to be more blissed out? and more peaceful on a moment to moment basis, because this is a choice. Anxiety is a choice, whether you want to take responsibility and hear that truth or not. But with these five check-ins, you're going to be able to start reclaiming your power and choosing to live a bliss out life. How many of you guys want to live blissed out? Let me get a like hashtag blissed out in the comments or something. Thank you guys so much for being here. Paper and pen ready. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Yes. So the first way, the first check-in to do is you got to check in on your diet. And specifically, you have to check in on what your magnesium and potassium levels are. And if you don't know what that is, you can get you can go get a blood draw. If you're like, I, don't, I want to skip that, don't, don't put the needle in my arm. Um, you can also either take a supplement or you can fix it with just your regular whatever you eat for food. So if for magnesium... Um, you can have nuts, avocado, uh, seeds, things like that. And you beans. can even do Epsom salt baths. Soaking in Epsom salt will help to raise your magnesium le- levels. And that also helps to relieve muscle soreness too, because a lot of our energy shows up in our muscle. Anyone figure that out? Like when I'm super stressed out, my neck hurts. Or when I get anxious, like something happens in my gut, you know, things like our energy and our stress and our anxiety all correlate to physical responses that our body's going to show up and show us like, Hey, you're stressing me the fuck out. My body, your, my body's going to show me exactly how I'm you know, contributing the energy. If I'm, you know, before I knew how to handle anxiety and stress and and other people's emotions, hello, any empaths here, like pick up other people's feelings before I knew what to do with them. I just packed them on as pounds. I got up to over 200 pounds and I realized, oh my gosh, I'm not moving the energy and the emotions, energy and motion. 
get that guy's emotion. So I wasn't, I didn't know what to do with them. And this is one of the ways that you can start to move it one by what you put into your body and two, how you show up on the mat or in the gym, because our emotions, our anxiety, our stress is a frequency. It's an energetic frequency. Yeah. So our second thing is exercise. You've got to check in. How is your exercise? When we exercise, when we move, when we go through anything rigorous or stressful to the body, it starts to produce endorphins for us. Our body's really perfect. And so when we need that extra pain relieving, I mean, that's exactly what endorphins are for. They're to help you relieve the pain from the onset of all the exercise and stuff. And so if you will do that, your body will start to calm down a little bit. That's why you see a lot of people, you know, go in the gym and bust ass because they're stressed. It's such a good way. You know, last week we had a big tragedy in our lives. um, And one of the ways that we dealt with it was through exercise to be able to do yoga or to be able to show up in the gym and to move. That was the saving grace last week is we woke up every morning and we got on our mat for at least 45 minutes to an hour. And we just like did us, you know, I, I, talk about practice what you preach. I always practice like taking care of yourself first. And in this massive tragedy in my family, I took care of me first, which is why I'm able to show up here so quickly afterward with the energy to, to bring you like the message and the mission that we're on, you know? Yeah. So the endorphins are a great way. So if you got chicken on the diet, make sure you got chicken on exercise. The third thing you want to check in on is what's your caffeine levels look like? Because if you're trying to run away from anxiety, if you're trying to like ditch that in your life, but you're pounding down, you know, coffee, tea, and chocolate all the time, like your caffeine levels are there. It's going to make you jittery. It's going to make you feel over anxious, overwhelmed. Those kind of, so if you're burning it's out. It's going to provide too much energy in your body that you don't know how to handle. And you typically call that stress or anxiety or overwhelm. Can you guys tune into those feelings that you may carry and go, oh, that's because I have this excess energy that I'm not sure what to do with. Yeah. So look at, look at your life. Look at if you wake up every morning, hit the coffee. If you Someone's make- like, I can hear him say, well, what do I do with it? Orgasm it out, run it out, laugh it out passion project it out like use your energy to like create a new idea to like bring forth your vision like use it don't just sit and let it you know consume you get them baby i'm just saying man (laughs) all right so Uh, are you guys enjoying this message and can you guys relate can you tell your anxiety and stress levels are up high when your diet is off when your exercise is off when you're pounding down like coffee and energy drinks because you're not being the the source and the generator of energy you're you're relying on something outside of yourself for that and what really happens when we start to rely on those things and we use them all the time I mean, that's the big problem if you're if you like coffee in the morning and you just have like that one cup maybe two you're, you're probably fine but the reality is if you're drinking like five to eight cups a day and it's sustaining you through the night yeah. and you're banging down the green tea nonstop, like it, what you need is not to continuously push you need to take a break you need to hit reset mm-hmm. get yourself in some silence take a like long sleep go get a massage go do those kind of things because if you stay wound, your nervous system burns out. Like we're not meant to work all the time. Like the, the worst invention that ever happened was the light bulb because we can turn that light on and continue to work and continue to work. And we don't give ourselves rest. Like, like back in the day, as soon as it got dark, everybody went inside. And if not, you get killed by animals. So. Anytime we go out to the cabin, like in the woods, when we love, you know, when we get away, we, there's not, we don't turn on a lot of lights and we just let it naturally happen. Like when the sun goes down, we're like, Oh, it's time to go inside. Like you aren't staying up until midnight. You know, it's, it's so interesting how our rhythms and cycles have been and disrupted from our natural connection to nature. Um, let's see. Sam says, absolutely relate. I was actually just told to take magnesium to help manage migraines as well. Yeah, super good. Magnesium. Also, Britt mentioned you can do Epsom salt baths. I like at least twice a week. I think it's a lot of Epsom salt too. Don't just like half cup Like it. four cups of Epsom yeah, salt. Yeah, and you can also grab the supplement Natural Calm. Uh, that's also a good one. Yeah. Do not take too much magnesium. You will use the bathroom like a phantom. It's, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not good. So, but magnesium is fantastic. Okay, number four. Wait, 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 okay. wait. I had to stop. Tina says, I had to stop drinking coffee because it was giving me anxiety. I am so much better without it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, too much excess energy. And, you know, not to mention coffee is very acidic, which tanks our pH, which makes us more susceptible to illness and disease. Um, but we're not doctors, right? We're just sharing information. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's, it's made a, it's made a huge difference in, in our lives, being able to kind of cut these things. Brit was a huge on caffeine for a long time. And it caused a lot of um, inflammation in my breast. And like anytime I have caffeine, even if I have dark chocolate, my breasts hurt really bad and I didn't put the correlation together. So caffeine really isn't something that we should rely on, um, as a source of energy. 
Yeah, you know, if you start, well, the, the next thing is a, a daily meditation practice. Like, if this is feeling, what we should rely on. <laughs> yeah, if, if you're feeling anxious and afraid and fearful and those overwhelming feelings, like you've got to get your meditation practice going on. And I say practice. So many people are under the idea that they can do meditation one time or try it one time, and that's it. I'm that's it. You're done for it. life. Yeah. yeah. You always hear that, like, oh, well, you know, I, I, you know, I tried that one time, and you know, it, it, it didn't really work for me. And you know, think about if we'd have taken that same attitude for walking and the first time we tried to walk we're like well you know walking is really not that great we all be scooting around on our asses so don't let that be you it, 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 try a big minute get a meditation practice going in your life just and don't you don't have to spend four hours doing and it if day. you're someone who says well i am not good at meditation then that's the perfect reason why you keep doing it and not give up because it is a practice a daily practice it and it isn't like you like he said you don't you're not good at it in the beginning because the first time you sit down you're like i don't know what's happening and it's that awareness awareness of what your mind is doing. That is really why you practice meditation is to create awareness on how am I as a brain and body and soul activating and, and expressing and taking action? And how can I start to consciously contribute to that effort and action? Because if you aren't aware of your thoughts, if you aren't aware of the actions that you're taking, then how are you going to show up and live a conscious life of intention? I mean, it's not possible without becoming awake to your own truth and to you, to the awareness of how you think, how you feel, how you operate. And yeah, looking at the truth and the darkness is fucking scary, but that's why we're here to show you that we've done it. It's possible. It's worth the work. It's worth going back into like, Chris said the past, the best thing about the past is that it's over. So all you have to do is just turn around and look at that darkness that is shining on you so that you can be the light and say, you know what? Thank you for showing up and being that darkness so that I could overcome it so that I could learn and grow from it. You're on fire today. Watch out. World. Sound clips today. Oh my gosh. So the check-in for this one, daily meditation practice, the check-in is, am, am I living in the present moment? That's the question to ask yourself. Hold Where on. Am I so living? many good questions. So What's many that? Good questions. Sam. Okay. Sam says, um, any alternative cozy hot drink that you would recommend? I want to quit coffee for a while, but I love the ritual of it. Okay. So Chris is a, a big tea drinker, like organic, natural teas, herbal teas, loves herbal teas. And I resisted it for so long. I'm like, it tastes awful. I can't stand it. It's so gross. And I resisted it for years. And he, I just love that every morning, the ritual and the meditation of putting the hot water together and like mixing it and like just taking time for you to be present. You know, I really um, admire that and enjoy that. And I just kept asking him, will you make me a cup? And I would drink it and I'd be like, <laughs> you know, and eventually I tried enough teas that I started to find what I enjoy. I love chai tea. That's something I love something spicy and warm and cozy, but I make sure to get it caffeine free because it affects my boobies. So, um, love drinking like hot chai tea. Lately, we've been doing like turmeric, um, golden milk drinks that are really great for anti inflammatory properties. So, yeah, you know, it's being able to move away. It takes time though. Some, if you're yeah. used to a specific flavor or used to a specific thing, like breaking that's always kind of a weird deal. I mean, like, I remember when we went plant based and like not having cheese for so I was like, I don't know, I had cheese on it. I feel like I had cheese on everything. And so, it takes time, but like once you start to love tea, once you get into it, it, it does become, it's the ritual. It's not necessarily the taste of it. That That's just kind of like an added benefit, um, but it's the ritual of doing it. It's taking the time out of your day and pausing and making it and listening to the water boil and pouring it in the cup, and I still have to wait for it longer. We're, we're so much on the idea that things should happen for us instantaneously. You know, now we have Amazon that can deliver to us, you know, yesterday almost. Okay, fingers crossed that Amazon un like reactivates my account. They like deactivated it for some retrograde reason. <laughs> so everyone, please send some good juju to Amazon because my box and my Oracle deck and the guidebook and everything comes on Monday for me to approve it. So like we're getting really close, Amazon. Like chop chop. Okay, just wanted to put that out there. Okay. Since you know we're elevators and we're always manifesting powerful things. Yeah. So get yourself yeah. get yourself a daily meditation practice. Yes. Last thing, and this is the biggest. This is huge. This is, this is the biggest one because a lot of times if you do the other things and they're totally in check and that's, and that's working for you, you know, your diet, your exercise is on, your caffeine's minimized and you've got the meditation practice. We say, I still feel anxious, like all the time. It's something deep seated. It's not something that you're just missing out on. Those first four are kind of peripheral things, right? But this last one is self-esteem. 
you have to do a check-in on what your self-image is. How many is. of you went, oh my God, yes. Like, I know. I agree. Everyone everyone feel that way about number five, self-esteem? Yeah. So check in with yourself. How do I feel? And you can do a quick test is if you if you think about the dream that you have in your life, do you see yourself actually accomplishing it? Do you see yourself as capable and able and you know that you can do it no matter what and whatever obstacle was there, you're going to knock down, you're going to jump over, you're going to go around, you're going to dig a tunnel under, whatever it takes to do. Yeah. If you don't have that as your self-image and your self-esteem, you need to work on it. Yeah. That's one of those things that you need to nail down because if you don't have that feeling, if you don't, if you don't believe in yourself that much, then the future doesn't feel hopeful. You know, it's almost like there's this, this hopelessness that happens and it's easy to get afraid of that. It's easy for your body to feel overwhelmed if you don't think you can succeed. So the fifth one is the biggest and it's the one that takes the most time to work on. And it's the one that you really have to nail if you want to live a really amazing life. It's the whole reason why I created Shine School so that I could empower women to choose, like to believe in themselves and to trust that their intuition and to go after those wild dreams. Because that was the key ingredient that was the success behind not only my salon, but my online business and my photography business and anything that I've ever put my heart and soul into. The reason why I did it is because I believed in myself. And it you, you have to overcome fears and doubts and labels and shitty shits that people have told you your whole life. And I walk you through that process through it, through shine school, because the more empowered women we have believing in themselves and saying, you know what, I am a badass. And you stop wasting your fucking time looking for external approval from some stupid guy who doesn't even know how amazing you are. Thank you for recognizing how amazing I am, but I don't need your approval. Okay. You hear me? Can I get a hell yes on that? Like stop looking outside yourself for someone to say you're amazing because honey, you're amazing. Even if you are hearing it from me, like you've got to build that self-esteem from the inside. And yes, having a healthy ego in balance with your soul mission is the, the, the key to being able to endure the bullshit that comes along with anything that you launch into the world. Anytime you show up on video, Anytime you create a product, anytime you paint a picture or cut some hair or something, someone's going to offer you some stupid ass criticism or advice or whatever. And you have to be strong enough to say, you know what? I know who I am. I know what I'm worth. I know my mission. Thanks for thanks for the suggestion. Carry on. Yeah. And if it's good advice, take it. Be honest with yourself. But if it's just crap, which you'll get a lot of that. You just got to keep moving on. And if you don't have the confidence and if you don't have the self-esteem, you're going to sit down and pout in the corner and feel broken and be like, eh, I'm not good enough. And the world doesn't want me. And the world fucking needs you. Okay. Damn, Britt, you oh, are my spirit fire. animal. <laughs> Today. Thank you. Oh my gosh. It takes some hard work, but if you're ready, talk to Chris about hypnosis. It's the most healing experience I've ever had. And I just want more. Oh my gosh. I yes. Mean, honestly. And that is really why we brought the elevated life to the world is so that we could share not only our wisdom and our support and the accountability that you need to move through this journey. It's not always easy, but it is so worth it. And we love sharing our wisdom and our information. So if anxiety and confidence and um, having like lack of clarity and what your purpose is. If some of these things are what are holding you back from taking that next step, then holy shit, you have to join us inside the Elevated Life Membership Club or <laughs> book a hypno session with Chris. I mean, whatever, like we are here to support you. And there is no reason at this point for you to have any more excuse that stops you from going after your goals. We're literally like we show up every month live and coach and train you and share all of our secrets and how to help you understand what it is that you came here to do and have the courage and the confidence to move forward with that. Like we show up for $22 a month inside the elevated life. I mean, you cannot beat that. It's a no brainer. You really yeah. cannot beat that. I mean, so if you're someone who's like, I'm anxious, I'm not sure what my next step is. I don't really have the confidence or hell, I don't even know how to meditate. I need help with that. Like, or you want to start a yoga and meditation practice, like whatever it is that you need that is stopping you from elevating your life. We've got you covered. We promise you that there's so much training inside the membership club that you have access to when you join. And I love, love, love empowering and elevating people to see their full potential because that is why we're here is to recognize our own divinity and recognize that we are a star in our own reality. And when we own and step into that, that is when the magic and the fun begins. And if you're not having a magical fun life, it's because you're choosing not to. My job. I mean, it's 
you're you're it you're it today baby me finding you guys was seriously fucking divinely guided yes Uh, yeah if you're here if you're listening to this message there the universe has your fucking back because not everyone is led to us you know Chris's grandmother is super wise. She's like, so woo woo. You're like, I don't even know what level you're on, honey. She said to Chris one time, you're not here for the masses. You're here for the masters. So if you're here watching this, you're a master. You're a light worker. You're here someone to make a big fucking difference in the world. So we need what you have. And if fear is something that is stopping you from moving forward, let us help you shine a light on that bullshit. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the beautiful deal about everything we shared today is that yeah. All of this is fixable. All of this can be redone. You can feel great again. You can believe in that dream, like that self-esteem I mentioned earlier in it. You can picture yourself in the future and say, I can do this. I can literally do anything I want to. The world is my oyster, and I'm going to go out and grab what it is that I want. But if you don't feel like that, you have to work on it. Like You, you have to come to a place in your life where you're like, I'm tired of living with the excuses. I'm, I'm tired of what everyone's told me about myself. Because all those things people told you about yourself are lies. Because they're not you. Unless they told you you're amazing. You can trust that one. Because <laughs> yes. you're amazing. Yes. Dude, Sherry says, Britt rubbed off on me as I was doing readings in the hospital bed and posted one on Instagram. Uh, Sherry, I'm so glad that you're back home and that you're healing. And that you maybe you were meant to go through all that. One, to uncover what is the deeper root as to why you keep falling. And two, maybe you were there to be the light and spread some positivity. So how beautiful. She said her Moringa package was destroyed in transit, so they're refunding her. She has to order again. Highly, highly recommended. I don't know if you could take my seriousness on that. If you are someone with arthritis and you are having the physical pain, Moringa, M-O-R-E-N-G-A. No, it's an I. Okay, it's an I. It's, it's an, an E or it's an I. It's, it's an something. I. Moringa. Moringa. Google yeah. it, figure it out. Look. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, you have to check out the supplement. It's literally $10 on Amazon. Highly, highly, highly recommended. Um, okay, <laughs> holy goosebumps, Batman. Oh my gosh, we love y'all. Uh, we love you so much. I can't wait to meet you in person, Sam, at the Goddess Retreat. And if you want to come hang out with us at, <laughs> in paradise and transform and elevate your life on like a rapid scale, because like in person, oh yeah, it's powerful, um, then you should come join us for the goddess retreat we literally have like two spots left so if you're on the fence if you've been thinking about it you want to take your life to the next level and you want to do it in a very fast and intimate way then doing it uh, you know coming to a retreat really is the most powerful way that we've experienced going to like brenda bruchard seminars it's faster it's just faster you can't help but elevate because you've got so much accountability and different perspective to help you grow and see different aspects that maybe you are missing in your life or your business so i'm so excited to join you in uh paradise in Destin, florida next february so um dude i'm counting down the days cannot wait i think we're in like 80 something days until the <sighs> retreat i can't believe like it's, it's gonna be awesome it's so close like can you guys believe we're almost to december it's at the end of the year, like things are wrapping up. So I really want you guys to be thinking about like, what was that thing in 2019 that I was battling? Like, what was the thing that like, I kept saying I wanted to do and I'm struggling with it or it's still bothering me. Like, let's figure out what that is. And in 2020, let's make that our bitch. Okay, we're going to, if it's fear, if it's anxiety, if it's doubt, let's leave that in 2019. Like this retrograde was hard. Okay, I don't know what happened for you guys, but (laughs) it was really hard for us. And with that being said, I know that something beautiful and new and big is on the horizon. And with it being 2020, I mean, it just seems like a magical moment to to make your dreams into reality. So I hope that you take whatever was heavy this year and you transform it into something that fuels you to go after your dreams. (laughs) I feel you. All right, guys, what was your favorite part of today's video? Which one did you relate to the most? Was it diet, exercise, too much external stimulation of energy like caffeine, meditation, or confidence and self-esteem? Which one resonated with you that you feel like if I tuned in, if I dialed in on this one thing right now, if I got my diet in check, if I started showing up on my mat and meditating every day, like what's the one thing? If you turn that up and dialed into it, it would make a big difference in lowering your anxiety and stress levels. Let me hear in the comments below. (laughs) Self-esteem, bro. And whatever it is, like make a pact with yourself and say, I'm going to tackle this like this is meaningful to me i know how big uh, of an impact it can have on my life i'm going to do 
whatever it takes to get it handled and do that. Do, yeah. You deserve it. I mean, hell, make that your Christmas present to yourself. <laughs> make it happen. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you know someone who needs this message or would love to join in the Shine Tribe, please tag them in the comments below and invite them. Spread the message, the good vibes. We appreciate all the love. And thank you so much for the extra support this last week. It has been literally the hardest thing I have ever experienced in my life, but I know that it's just to make me stronger, more compassionate, and more uh, empathetic to people who have lost. So I am thankful for all the love, all the support. If you want some coaching accountability and some ass kicking to your fears then come join us inside the elevated life membership club we cannot wait to join you for one more live master class at the end of this year oh my gosh we've got one more and it'll have been two years that we've created the membership club so there will be two years worth of content um, in december it's going to be so exciting what a massive change and how much it's grown like and watching people grow like yeah. watching people go through their fears and come out the other side and and either leave the relationship they never wanted to be in or find that love partner or yeah. start that business or do that thing or accomplish their dreams and goals it's so it's so cool what people do once they take their foot off the brake and once they get out of their own way like it, it it really just it's like lifting your feet up and letting kind of the river carry you where it wants to go and it ends up being where you want to go to. Yeah. So. And there's so many people watching right now that have been founding members in the elevated life from the beginning. So thank you so much for all of your love and support. We were doing, we've been doing these live videos every Friday at 11 AM central standard time for three years or longer, I think at this point, because we did it like a, a whole year. And this is a, this is a story for you. If you have a message, if you have an idea and you want to put a business out there, you just start, just start showing up, just start sharing your message. And eventually it'll turn into something just like our membership club evolved and now it's like this incredible community of light workers all over the world elevating their mindset so that they can do some powerful cool shit and there one girl joined she's like i am struggling with money mindset we talked about abundance and attracting wealth this month and she said i'm gonna sign up because i want to learn she literally the next day after the training message and she was like i just got a check in the mail for 325 dollars like wow like talk about turning on your abundance meter you know like you really are a magnet for all the, the things that you desire in your life. So make sure you're tuning into the things that you truly want and not the anxiety and the stress and the doubt, because you'll get that just as well. Um, best way to start my birthday. Oh my gosh. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. So cool. There's so many 11, 22. That's a powerful master number situation, sister. Like how cool is that? Well, all right. Thank you so much for tuning in here on the elevated life. We appreciate all the love and support. We will catch you guys next Friday. Peace. Thanks so much for tuning in to the elevated life podcast. 